Howdy everyone, locally nomadic here and today I will be giving y'all a tour of my truck camper that I've been living out of for the past couple months. So here it is, the 2020 Northern Light 96 QLE and sitting on a one ton Dodge six speed. But this has been a great camper so far that I've really enjoyed uh, getting to learn how to use everything and being focused on when you need to fill your tanks next and stuff like that and just come condensing my life down into a kind of a smaller footprint but here we'll start on this side with your large dinette window and your bedroom window and here up front we've got the fresh water fill for the 33 gallon fresh water tank as well as a satellite connection for if you're in a campground for your TV and here's the hot water heater Moving along, we've got your power port for shore power, which I currently have plugged into my Honda generator. And uh, I don't really need to use that that much, maybe once a week or less. Most of the time the two 100 watt solar panels keep me topped off enough, but it's nice to have if I need it. So here's the fresh water fill for your pressurized water. And here's the shower with hot and cold, your outdoor shower. And it also has a holder for the shower head so that you can shower if you need to, you can hold it, have it being held up there for you. And I'm 5'11", so this is a pretty good height, I think, for them to put the shower. But, yeah, and then add a little level to help level the camper. But here we have our tank dump. You can see there, there's the outlet. But you open this up, and you have your black water tank valve, which is a 13-gallon tank, and your gray water tank valve, which is a 24-gallon tank. And you have an incandescent light, the only incandescent in the whole camper, and that's to provide extra heat down here if it's extremely cold out. And then you just got your winterization valves, your jack controller, and a temperature sensor I added. Moving along here to the back, got the little, little patio, and you've got your rear power awning, which comes out about 10 feet and has some ambient LED night lighting, so that's pretty nice. And then here, I added a 4G extender, as well as my uh, trash roo bag, pack it in, pack it out, and some roto packs for the generator. And there's your electric jack with your switch to flip it to go manual mode if you need to. And you got your ladder, of course, and a backup camera up there, a work light right there, and your LED tail lights. And then here, if you lift off this step, you have the basement and this is one of the features that sold me on the northern light and you just open this up and you have about three and a half four feet of storage that goes back which i use for chairs and then you have your bin here which it comes with and i use this for my skis uh, fishing poles nets outdoor things stuff like that but these are about uh, 105 millimeter skis underfoot so they're wider skis but they still fit in here I think this is about the limit for the fattest ski you could get in here on the 9.6. The 10.2 has a larger basement, I believe. But that's worked out perfect to securely stow all my gear. And you can lock that, and then the step goes over it to kind of hide it, too. So you have your handle there to get in, and this is the rear patio. These steps have been really nice. I originally didn't want a big rear patio because I wanted to be able to tow, but this is removable if I ever need to move it remove it and uh it's been nice just to have a place to stand on in the winter if there's snow on the ground and stuff like that like there have been some areas i've been in so far so the patio is really nice and i like this camper because it has the low overhang it only has about a foot of overhang there for uh going down steep washes and stuff off road and i'm not worried about dragging the camper or the jacks so now yeah. but here we have the passenger side of the camper and this is your generator storage compartment and you can easily fit the power cord on top of the generator there at least while using a Hana generator so that's super nice and got a ton of area in there and then here you have your battery box which houses two group 24 batteries and you have your side work light which has a switch right here and your heater exhaust and here's the fridge door which uh, got a little banged up going through some trees in Montana but easily fixable and or replace it if I need to but not a huge deal right now and then here you have your outdoor speakers and 
your kitchen window and then that's the stove vent which there's a little flappy piece of plastic that kept the wind out that came off so I've just taped that up for now and then this cord is from the 4G extender I can't decide where I want to drill into the camper yet but this is the side awning which is a hand crank and you keep the crank in the basement drawer or wherever but that cranks out and then it has two supports on either end that come out and they will link into here so that supports it and that's super nice and then here we have the propane tanks which are on a slide so that's super nice two of them slide out and they have a automatic uh, tank switch over which is nice so that's a nice vented compartment keeps the weight of the tanks up front something I like but yeah that is about it for the exterior of this northern light got it on some torque lift frame mounts and now we'll show y'all the interior. Here we have the interior of the Northern Light 9.6 with the gray Stokes color. This is their new interior for this year. And the gray looks a little more modern, I think. That's why I chose it. So first of all, we have all your controls right here at the door, which this is your control for the awning to go in and out so that's really nice to have a power awning and this is the light switch control for these lights and up here you have your on off switch for your outdoor work light so that's really nice and you have down here the solar controller for your solar panels which tells you the voltage and the amperage going into them and the battery percentage so that's nice to have a precise percentage. And then here we have the heater vent, as well as the battery disconnect down here and your fire extinguisher. And here we have the main rear closet, which I use for my trash and uh, ski jacket and paper towels, vacuum, TP, extra heater, extra sheets, medical supplies, stuff like that. And here we see that the camper weighs 27 160 pounds in their weight at the factory so that should be fairly accurate according to northern light and here turning around we have the wet bath with the sliding door and you have your toilet down here and your shower area and your sink so this toilet has a corner flush right there some of them have foot flushes i kind of want a foot flush but it's not too bad as it is now and you got your shower curtain and a towel bar they include as well as your bathroom mirror which can open to house toiletries and stuff as well as your overhead fan which has one setting and you hand crank out the cover and there's your tp and there's your sink with a shower head i replaced this one to get a little bit higher pressure and uh this shower is pretty easy to use for me being 511 i have room over my head and uh, room to move around in here. And I know for 2021, they actually widened the bathrooms a little bit, so they reoriented the sink. So they should be a little wider now. And you have a shelf there and down there for toiletries as well. Looking above our heads here, we have our fantastic fan vent, and it comes with a remote where you can tell it to put the air in or out and it can actually bring it down to a certain temperature as best it can just by moving air you can set it temperature specific humidity specific in manual or auto mode so it's nice to have all those features and it has a rain sensor to close automatically if it senses rain and then here and throughout the camper we have these two-way led lights which are super nice you can choose how much light you need and there's one there another one there down there and those are the lights that are all throughout the camper besides these reading lights here and here and then up there as well. So those lights have been nice and real easy to hit just over your head. Good switch. So moving along, here we have the dinette. And this is the U-shaped dinette. They do make a just side-to-side -side one, but I wanted the U-shape to lounge and watch TV. So that's been nice, and this table folds down, the post comes out, it folds down, these cushions go over it, and it makes a full uh, six-foot bed. So that's nice if you're having company or having someone else who needs to sleep. So that's been super nice to have. And then here we have our control panel with the clock Northern Light provides, 
our fan remote again and the monitor panel for your tanks and your water pump and here is the thermostat which it's easy to use to turn on the heat off and on to set your temperature but this thermostat lags behind a little bit when it's heating up from a colder temperature if this reads 80 degrees which is the actual temperature this will still read about 68 so it just takes a while to catch up so i might replace that in the future and then here you have your reading light with a usb port in it so moving along we have the dinette there another light there behind the hats and one problem i had with this table was i always sit on this side and leaning on it caused these screws to come loose up here so i had to drill new smaller holes and put the screws in which wasn't a huge deal but uh, maybe they needed smaller holes in the first place i don't know and then here i went on a bump and this piece came out of the table that holds it on its sliding part and because it was just held in with two pins so i added four screws to reinforce it and get it back in there but other than that no complaints and there's an ac power outlet right there and you got your speaker and vent and speaker and vent on that side and then underneath our dinette we have shoe storage and just a cubby space basically which is really nice to keep them out of the way and your fuses for more of your uh, 12 volt uh, things in here and just things that run off 12 volt power and then underneath the dinette we have a drawer where i keep chips and snacks and stuff and then another drawer where i keep uh home stuff home goods stuff and moving along we have the cab over up here which it has a full size queen bed full length queen bed and everything so that's been really nice it's not a huge change from home you know and it's a really comfortable mattress i have no complaints i sleep soundly every night and then it comes with this anti-condensation uh, mat but it doesn't totally do the job when i'm camping in near zero temperatures so i decide i'm gonna get a another system to keep the condensation down but here we have our front closet where i keep some clothes hung and there's space down here to put more stuff super nice privacy shade if you need it and up here we have the same kind of windows as the front which all these windows have these latches where you can turn them and put the window out at three positions so that's really nice to have all those positions and it also has this notch where you can do that and just leave the window barely open just to vent condensation out at night so there's that and then you got the bug cover that pulls down from the top and the sunshade from the bottom and then you have your speakers up here as well and this is just storage i use for clothing ton of space in there i could fit a ton more clothes than what i have with me but that's the same thing on the other side two areas of storage and there is your reading light with the switch on it and the usb port like up front and then looking above here is the dometic hecky sky vent which has been a really nice sky vent you can even pop your head out and it's an emergency exit so i've used this to pop out and take a picture or two in the morning without even getting out of bed so you've got that and then your sunshade and your bug screen same as all the other windows and you actually got to be careful and you can't fully close the sunshade for long periods of time because the sun can actually create like an oven in there which will melt and warp the, some of the plastic so you gotta be careful and then here we have the 24 inch tv which is super nice and you have your usb and 12 volt ports for a phone charger so that's super sweet and the tv of course swings around to go into the living area and then you have some overhead lights up here as well moving on we have the kitchen area and here's your hot water heater for propane operation and electric and here we have the head unit to control the speakers different zones for the bedroom speakers speakers in the dinette and the outdoor speakers so that's nice and a remote for that and then you have a 120 volt plug and two usb plugs and a 12 volt plug so plenty of room to plug all your appliances in and phones and stuff like that and it came with this rack which i used to hold soaps and the remote and stuff 
which was nice. And it also came with a paper towel holder. And there's a light above here as well. And here we have the massive sink. And this is a bigger sink than I'd seen in any other truck camper, which I kind of wanted. Just to, I like having a big sink. I can put dishes in and stuff like that. So this has been a really nice size sink to have. And you have this cutting board cover you can always put over it if you need the space. So that's been nice. And then I added some spice racks here to hold my spices. And you got your kitchen window with the 4G extender wire again. And here we have the stove vent with simple on and then there's a light and you have your flush three burner stove right here so this is super nice to have this glass cover for more counter space then you lift it up and you've got your three burners ready to go operate with these three and then your igniter and you've got lights for that but yeah this has been a super nice stove top and an easy setup to use and clean and then we have the oven right here which you can fit a decent sized pan in and it operates with this knob and you can get it up to 500 degrees and broil and everything like at home and then if you do the light down you get your oven light so that's about it for the appliances in the kitchen and now we have the under oven storage which i use to keep plates and bowls and my main cookware and some soup so that's a nice big storage area i could keep a cast iron pan down there or whatnot and then down here we have a big deep storage area under the sink and this goes back a long ways i have camping gear behind the food up here and some cleaning supplies so this is a nice storage area and here we have a drawer for all your kitchen utensils or whatever you want to use it for but that's what i use it for so space. and here's a little sponge storage space so that's the kitchen down there, and then we have up above where I keep some paper plates and cups and mugs and stuff like that, but a big storage area. And here we have another cabinet with pasta and bread and potatoes and stuff like that right next to the microwave. So the microwave's hidden away here. Only works on AC power, but I kind of like how it's hidden away. It cleans everything up. So, yeah, I mean, they included this nice backsplash with the stove which i didn't see in a lot of other campers but i like just because you don't want to be getting grease on this part of the wall so that's nice and then i've got my oven mitts hung up there but yeah so that is most of it but here is the giant fridge and freezer combo that was another thing that really sold me on this camper was i wanted the big freezer space and this is more than enough space as you can see but it's a ton of space and got your controls up here, runs on gas, DC, AC, three-way, and a bunch of different settings for coldness, which is nice. And this has a mirror on the front, which I also like as well to have sort of a full mirror. It's kind of nice to have in here. But and here's your fridge space. Tons of room, again, ton of room in the door for whatever you want. Drawers and just overall a solid amount of room to, for especially if you're out boondocking like i am so yeah that is about it this is the interior of 2020 northern light 96 and thank you for watching comment like subscribe and have a good one